into this week's news. News. Yeah, now, um, I'm sure a lot of stuff happened, but the only thing that really mattered <laughs> was the election. <laughs> Obviously, there was a big upset on Tuesday. Uh, everyone had expected Hillary to win, and of course, she uh, didn't win, as you know by now. Mm-hmm. If you don't know, then... Where have you been? I was going to say, now you know, but both, <laughs> both of them apply. <laughs> so, yeah, um, there's that. A lot of people, there's been um, rise since he's been um, election across the states. That's been kind of crazy. Um, I've seen petitions to get Hillary in. I, I've seen all sorts of crazy yeah, I've seen stuff, a bunch of crazy stuff going in the election. It's, it's just pretty crazy. But um, in my personal opinion, you know, I don't think it's going to be as different as people say it is. Just because... Uh, I agree. Yeah, if you, if you look at what's going on right now, you have... I mean, he met with the president for what an hour and a half. Yeah. And uh, thirty minutes, but he met with the president about an hour and a half. And after an hour and a half, he's already come away saying he's going to keep major parts of Obamacare, or he, he likes it. So I mean, he's no, already reneged on that. He didn't say he liked it. He said he's going to keep no, some he, parts. No, he said sure. he said he said he liked he said he liked he liked major parts of yeah. Obamacare. So he wants to that he's talking about reneging on that. He's already I've heard I read stories that he's a. Uh, Backing off the, the wall, wall, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. uh, I think I think that a lot of stuff we're not privy to a lot of stuff as citizens that once you become a president, you're privy to. And I think you can kind of see it on his face when you can see it in the office when him and Obama were together. He looked like somebody dropped a bomb on him. He was well, he looked kind of worried. Yeah. Um. That I'm just no, that's just hearsay. But um, it's interesting. And the, another interesting thing about the uh, Trump presidency is. When it first happened, the stocks dropped. The stocks dropped, and the um, a lot. but currency rose. So a lot of people took their money out of stock because they were worried about it, and right. put their money in safe havens like gold. And yeah. the Japanese yen went up a whole lot. Yeah. So, um, but then the interesting, interesting, interesting later, three hours later, the markets recovered. Um, and uh, they say a lot of that has to do with Trump's. How we talk in the election, he's pretty much gonna pull away a lot of regulations on a corporation like the EPA, NAFTA, the trade agreement. So he's gonna, you know, uh, reduce the, the tax on corporations, which will give the corporations chance to, you know, grow more and stuff. So investors are betting that Donald Trump's gonna be way more linked to corporations, which I think his supporters weren't that big a fan of. Right. So. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how these couple of years go after he learns about foreign policy, domestic policies. and I mean, because I think he, he's, his economic policies aren't that bad for, you know, domestic growth. Um, but foreign-wise, that, that's just what I see. I mean, any thoughts? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, um, I mean, it's a lot. I mean, really can't do anything about it now. You can try to make the best of the situation. I don't think he's going to do much more than, you know, all the other presidencies we've we've had. Um, The most thing i just not a big fan of is, like, all these riots and all, you know, like the KKK coming back. Well, not coming back. uh, Resurfacing and being loud and proud and trying to cleanse America. Like, that's what I'm having a problem with. You know, I'm... You know, this is what the situation is. This makes the best of it. You know, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say, you know, let's just see what he does. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm not going to put no money on it. But, you know, you got to stay positive. Uh huh. try. So. Yes. Droski. Man. You really want to hear him on the Do you no, really want to hear him? No, no, no. We got that you later. Know. This you, know what I'm you really want to hear? Uh, nah, no, no, nah. no, not now. Okay. That's you know what, what he's saying? not saying. Don't yeah. ask no question. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, he's he just bubbling <laughs> over. Yeah, yeah, he just yeah. He just bubbling over. Well, my whole my whole thing is you see a lot of um you see a lot of people on both sides of the debate. Uh, some are happy and some are not happy. But the thing about it is, the people I know that voted for Trump, they aren't really racist or bad people. You know what I mean? It's just they wanted something different. And then Hillary seemed like much of the same. So. I feel like there's a section of Trump supporters that might be blown out proportion. You know what I mean? Just kind of like they do with everything else. 
I think if you just take a step back, yeah, they, they just want something different. They're not all like I. Would, I don't think fifty percent of the country is you know as hateful as they're saying it is. I think it just they just fifty percent of the country wants something different, and Hillary represented the same. Okay. I, I don't know. I just I just don't understand you know people. I just it just like, the, way, like the way things are different. I just it doesn't. I don't. You know how they say the squeaky wheel gets the grease. The most extreme opinions are the ones that get the media attention. That's the only reason. Thing. Those that are medi- mediocre in the middle, don't, those opinions aren't getting broadcast because they they don't intrigue, they don't they don't arouse emotion. So that's why they're not televised. And you, you're going to get the ones that's going to stir hatred or emotion. So that yeah. that stuff sells. Controversy sells. Yes, it does. So. It does. Yes, that's why the other day I believe Drosky was talking so much noise about the Beehive. I don't know what you say about them, Drosky. About the Beehive.